Hey guys, welcome back. So today what I thought I would do is go through some items in my own stash uh, that I purchased before I started doing videos and never got around to listing. So we're gonna have, um, I think in this bag, a lot of pendants. And so, you know, like the last time when I had pendants, I <laughs> said, you know, they've been sitting in the bag for a long time and I haven't gotten around to it. And maybe I should just list it here first or show it here on the channel first. And hopefully some pieces will sell. So um, let's see how that goes. For people that are new, welcome to the channel. This is Opportunity Thrift, and my name is Lillian, and what we do on this channel is we do jewelry unboxings, we do thrift store shopping, and, uh, you know, whatever else tends to kind of seem like a good idea to me at the time. Um, so welcome if you're new, and welcome back if you've been to the channel before. Thank you so much for supporting the channel. I really really do appreciate it so let's get started it's a pretty big bag of pendants so this first item is kind of an artsy pendant um it could probably even be a um kind of looks like maybe an angel uh for a christmas tree too so you know, there are some scratches. These are all used items that I had bought in Goodwill blue boxes uh, and Goodwill boxes in the past. So let's kind of start going through them. Now, this one's not magnetic, so let's just kind of take a look. Oh, well, that doesn't look too bad. Let's see. but it is not sterling. Okay. So if anybody would like this crafty piece, that will be $2. All right, we have another kind of large pendant. There is some tarnish on this pendant. It's not in perfect shape, but it could make a good craft piece, so $1. And if you do want to purchase something, email me at opportunitythrift at gmail.com and give me the date of the video and a timestamp and a brief description of the item and then we will take it from there. Okay, this is a gorgeous piece and I am looking to see if there's any missing rhinestones. No, I don't. Uh, yes, one here, one missing, and one here, and one here. Yeah, so three missing rhinestones. It looks like what's in this, and there's one missing one here. Okay, so not, not perfect. Uh, this one, this one, this one, and this little one are missing from what I can see, but I think the overall look of the pendant is still really pretty. So if anybody would like this pendant just because of its flaws, one, one dollar. We have another pendant. Again, a couple of missing rhinestones. There is some wear to this pendant, one dollar. Um, just a silver tone pendant, kind of a bit of a hammered look. To the silver tone. Let's just make sure this isn't anything. Nope. Scratching up coppery. So uh, two dollars for this pendant. We have a sand dollar pendant. I've always loved these. You see them every once in a while, these sand dollar pendants. So gold tone. I'd say overall in good condition. So if anybody wanted this pendant, that'll be $2. We have a pretty angel pendant, um, two-tone metals, in good condition. 
also not magnetic, so let's see. It's kind of coppery, but I don't know, not so much. So we'll double check it. No, it's not silver, uh, but it's beautiful nonetheless. So if anyone would like this pendant, that'll be $3. Okay, then we have a snake pendant. It's missing a rhinestone for the eye, which is really a shame. Really beautiful though, in good condition otherwise. It's got two little hooks, um, $2, maybe, you know, who knows? I'm gonna get lucky and find that in the bag, but I think he's still really pretty. Okay, we have a cross, a little bit of wear on the edges on the back. All the rhinestones look to be there, <clears throat> so $2. We have this kind of pendant where the chain just goes through inside. It's in good condition. I don't really see any damage. There's like this little extra wire here, which frankly I would snip off myself. I don't know why that's there. Two dollars. Okay, we have another pendant there is a little tiny bit of tarnish all the rhinestones are there overall i think in really good shape um two dollars for that one we have a oh gosh i don't know a five leaf clover <laughs> Uh, really pretty, kind of a moonstone appearance. $3 for that one. Just a nice, simple gold tone pendant. I guess the chain would go through here. It's in good shape. I don't see any damage. You could, you know, if it flips around, it's the same on both sides. I think it's in great shape, so $2 for that one. Okay, we have another pendant. There's, there is some scratching, and it needs a really good cleaning. Again, these all came from Goodwill boxes. Uh, $1 for this one, just because I'm not sure with these scratches if that would clean off or buff off. So $1 for this one. Ooh, what do we have here? We have a Hello Kitty with quite a bit of wear on the metal. But the stones appear to all be present. It is an articulating Hello Kitty. Where's the, here's the veil. I mean, I think this Hello Kitty still looks good. Um, the wear is pretty uniform, so it almost looks, almost looks like it was meant to be this coppery color. Um, $2 on the Hello Kitty, just cause it's not perfect, but I think still, still okay to wear. Okay, this one has this sort of silvery midnight blue kind of color. Again, kind of a rhinestone, <clears throat> sorry, moonstone appearance. I like this one. This one will be $3. That one's in good shape. All right, we have a very large heart. See if all the stones are there. One's missing here. And 
This is really pretty. It's got the flowers, the pretty blue stone, no maker's mark. Um, $2 for this one, again, because it's not perfect, but I think still very pretty. We have a starfish showing a lot of wear. I'm going to put that into craft. I'm collecting a craft bag. I don't think, I don't think this one will fill a craft bag, but um, let's see how it goes. Okay, here we have a heart. Uh, no maker's mark. Really pretty. I don't see any missing stones. So $3 for this one. Another heart. This one's all metal. No maker's mark. $2 for that one. Oh, this one is beautiful. Ah, missing a stone. But you know what? It could be part of the uh, design, too. Because we've got an enamel one, two rhinestone ones, an enamel one. Uh, who's to say we can't have an open one? I, I really don't think it takes away from it at all. Who knows? Maybe that's how... <clears throat> maybe Excuse me. Maybe that's how it was. I think this one's really gorgeous. Uh, four dollars for this one if anyone wanted that piece we have a filigree leaf really pretty it it has more of a charm like uh, hook here but you know you can work with that make it a pendant because it is pretty large it is a uh, gold tone and rose gold tone so really nice Really nice leaf, very pretty design. $3 for that one. We have a kind of a pinkish uh, pendant. I'm looking to see if this is something that can be wiped off, I wonder. Let me get a little... Um, Clean cloth. I'll be right back. All right, guys, let's see. Let's see if this can kind of be wiped clean. Or if it's just kind of a, a rub. Might be a rub. Not sure. Didn't really wipe off the way I was hoping it would. Let's check the back side too. Any better? No. It's either going to take more time or that's just the way it is. So $1 for this one. We have another filigree leaf. Ooh, it has a lot of glue on it. It was glued onto something. Don't know how easy this would be to remove because otherwise it's beautiful. Uh, so $1 for that because I just don't know. Okay, we have, uh, this looks like glass, but then these areas here, well, I don't know how they did that. So it's probably glass also. No sign, no mark. Um, Three dollars for that one. That one's that one's really beautiful. Okay, we have a pretty green pendant. Some light scratches. Again, I don't know. Let's see. This one looks like it's coming off. Better. So $2 for that pendant. We have a pretty, I think that's plastic pendant, orange and yellow. 
one dollar. Okay, we have another black kind of artsy pen. Oh, this is a Leah Sophia. Okay, that one's signed. So three dollars for the Leah Sophia. Oh, this is pretty. So this has some pretty flowers. I'm looking to see are all the rhinestones there. I think there's one missing here, but again, very difficult to tell. You'd really have to study it to tell that that is, <laughs> that that is missing. Okay, $2 for this one. Okay, we have a, is this, ladies, help me out here. Is this a Druzy? Uh, no, maybe not. Maybe it's a faux Druzy. It's a faux Druzy. <laughs> yeah, but it's really pretty. It's just a bunch of rhinestones kind of put together. Really, really nice. So $3 for that one. Oh, we got a bowl. Okay. It needs, um, you know, like a little O ring here or something to help it be a pendant. It's a little small of an opening, I think. Um, but just really pretty. We've got, oh, no, wait, it's not a bowl. It's a cow jumping over the moon. Even better. Even better. So $3 for him. He's really cute. And here we have, I think, some kind of cartoon character slash turkey maybe thanksgiving is coming up one dollar for him another pretty silver tone pendant one dollar for him okay I'm not sure uh, what that says, but that is the Star of David. And it's really pretty. It's in good shape. $2 for that one. We have a lovely lady in a bikini. <laughs> and let's see, she's missing a couple of rhinestones. She's got a little wear on her butt. On her butt. Not magnetic. So let's see. No, coppery. So a dollar for her. She's not perfect. But then again, none of us are. Right? Okay. This one reminds me of the very first one out of the box. But I like this one a lot better. And this says uh, elegance or or something uh, looks like an artisan piece I'm not sure if it is or not I think this is something that could be a pendant or it could be even a Christmas tree ornament um, this one's in much better shape than the first one it also is, you know, a lot more recognizable. Uh, it's an elephant. You know what you're looking at. So $4 for him. He is gorgeous. We have a gold tone pendant. Really still pretty shiny in good shape. Uh, maybe some superficial little marks, but overall in good shape. Uh, two dollars for that we have a gold tone leaf and let's see is he just 
dirty or is he there's something wrong with this piece? I'm not sure. There's like something on the edges. It almost looks like glue, but it's not wiping off exactly what I would say easily. I think here you can kind of see it. So I don't know, $1 for him because I'm not sure what's going on. We have a pretty cross. No markings. A little dirty too. Uh, this one looks like it might even need like a brush to really clean them up. Let's see if this is marking in any way. No, coppery. Uh, so one dollar for the cross. Uh, we have a little Halloween ghost. Just plastic. Uh, one dollar. We have another glass piece. Two dollars for that. Oh, we have another Star of David. And a little piece of hair. <laughs> Two dollars for that. Okay, we have a two-tone gold and silver. This is a showing wear, uh, just probably normal wear. So one dollar. No, it doesn't look new. This one's missing a stone right in the middle. I'm going to put that in that little craft pile I started. And here we have United States of America. American Indian Relief Council, 2012. So it's <laughs> vintage, um, but it is showing some wear. So $1 for that. RMN, a little heart with kind of a leopard print, and that one will clean up nicely. Just that quick little wipe, and it looks much better. So two dollars for that. Okay, we have this piece. No markings. It does have this like little crack kind of going down here. I don't know if that's a manufacturing defect. Oh, hold on. We have a chip broken here. That's going to go into that little craft pile. We have another leaf. Kind of that same appearance like that prior leaf so one dollar okay we have a silver tone almost looks like a wreath or maybe my mind is thinking christmas already um this little wreath will be two dollars we have the letter m the stones are all there. They, they just aren't very sparkly anymore. They're kind of just not showing up as well as I'd like them to. Now, there are some numbers there. It almost looks like maybe it might be saying 925, so let's see. Hmm. Wasn't expecting that piece to be sterling, but let's see. 
Wow, that piece of sterling. Who would have thought? It just doesn't have that appearance. Maybe because the stones just don't look so great. Um, the letter M, it's sterling. Again, the stones, and maybe they just need a really good cleaning with a brush to get into the nooks and crannies. But it is a sterling silver piece. So if anybody would want this, uh, it's pretty heavy. I would say $12. $12 for that piece. Okay, then we have this brooch. Oh, sorry, <laughs> pendant, this pendant, copper tone, uh, $2. Very pretty. Okay, we have this pendant, bronze tone. Really pretty design on the back. Let's see if this one kind of sparkles a little bit. It's better, better after the quick wipe. So $3 for that one. We have a large heart, puffy heart. It's reversible on both sides, so that's always nice because we know things flip over. $3 for that one. This one's really pretty. It's in good shape. It does need, like everything else in this lot, it does need a little bit of a wipe down and a clean, but otherwise looks nice. $3. Okay, this one is really pretty. Let's give it a little, little buff here. I really like this one. Any markings? No markings. A little bit of wear right there. A little bit on the edge on the back side, but the front side looks great. Um, four dollars for this one. We have this large pendant, looks to be in good condition. Maybe a little bit of wear on the back. Uh, $3 for that one. Oh, this one has two little, little rings here, but otherwise in great condition. $3 for that one. What the heck is this? Someone took a bottle cap. America's oldest brewery, and it has this extra bit of glue here. I'm putting that in craft. Okay, this one's showing a little bit of wear on the bale. The rest of it looks okay, but that'll be $1. We have another sand dollar. I would say in good shape. No markings. Magnetic, $2 for the sand dollar. Okay, what is this? A serpent? I am not sure. A little bit of tarnish on the bale, a little tiny bit of tarnish inside there. Not magnetic. A little bit coppery, but I'm going to test it anyway. Yeah, no, that's nothing. Okay, 
So one dollar for this one because it is a tiny bit tarnished. We have a, I think this is copper, kind of a hammered copper and then a really pretty design here. Missing a couple of rhinestones, but I don't think it's, you know, too noticeable because the rest of it is so beautiful. So copper pendant, large pendant, as you can tell how it fits in my hands. Um, this one will be three dollars. Okay, we have another pendant with a faux turquoise stone. No maker's mark. Two dollars. Oh, we have another one of these. Never ever give up. I'll put that still in that little craft pile of that going. We have another filigree leaf. Now this one compared to the other one, this one's in great shape. There's, I see no glue. I see nothing, nothing really detracting for, from its appearance like the prior one. So $3 for this one. I have another, let's see, pendants, black pendants. I think this one will buff up nicely, but there's still, let's see, a little bit of a mark there. So I'm not sure if it will completely go away, but I do still think it's a lovely, lovely pendant. Let's just see how this scratches up. Coppery. Okay, two dollars for that one. We have, oh, this is part of a fragrance thing. I'm going to put that in our little craft pile. All right, we have a puffy heart with a Oh, on both sides with a faux turquoise on both sides. At least I think it's faux. Let's see. Anything? Let's test that one. It's not very coppery. It's not going away. Mm, it is just taking a while. Okay. Just taking a while. Wasn't going away immediately. <laughs> All right. So this one's very pretty. Uh, this one will be $4. We have a large pendant. All the stones are here. Any markings, no markings. So this one will be $2. We have another ghost, so we have a pair. I think I said a dollar for this one, so a dollar for the pair. If anybody wants the ghosts. We have a rhinestone pendant with some little red paint on top of it. I don't know if that's on purpose or not. One dollar. Not quite sure about that one. Oh, we have another one of these. Okay, I think I said a dollar for the other one, so I'll go a dollar for this one. Keep it consistent. All right, this is beautiful. This is really beautiful. We're missing a stone up here. But otherwise, I think it's in great condition. Not magnetic. 
but coppery. So $3 for the Jesus pendant. We have a key, $2. We have a cross. Again, this one's showing quite a bit of wear. The stones aren't very bright. I don't think this is anything. No, very coppery. That's going into the craft pile. Ooh, this is pretty. It is missing some stones up here, but I got to tell you, it's very hard to notice that because it's so blingy. It, it's really difficult to even spot that. So, oh, I'm missing a couple stones around too. So $2 for that one. We have a little shell. Silver tone shell. A little bit of wear, so one dollar. Oh, we have a high jumper. Oh, which actually has somebody's name on it. Two thousand five, so I don't know. One dollar. Boy, if that was me and I won that, I wouldn't be giving that up. Okay. What does this say? This is a Premier Designs. Uh, pretty, pretty pendant. Kind of a moonstone in the middle. So $3 for that one. We have, let's see, does this one have all the stones? Yes, it does. Let's just see how this scratches up. Yep, coppery. Um, there is a little bit of wear on the back edge right here but again that's on the back from the front it looks really good two dollars we have a silver tone not magnetic it's just this one there's just a look about this one no that's very coppery all right, it does have some scratches, so $1. We have the letter L. In good shape, $1. We have, this one's also like a moonstone, no maker's mark. Not magnetic. I'm going to test this one. It is coppery, but there's a little bit of a silvery look to it, too. Mm, not sterling. Okay. So, $2 for this one. Okay, we have this one. Is this one anything? Not magnetic. This pattern always fools me, you know, when you see that kind of design, that brightening kind of design. Uh, I'm never quite sure. Now, see, this one is sterling. This one is sterling. So if anybody wants this pendant, I don't see a mark, but it is definitely sterling. If anybody wants this piece, that will be $10. So, so far, we've got two unexpected pieces of sterling. Oh, we have another one of these. 
now I'm thinking this is an pendant and this came off of um, maybe a necklace. And I can't remember what I said for the other one. Would have been two or three dollars, I think. Um, so the same as the other one. <laughs> if you wanted, please take a look. I don't know what I said. I can't remember. All right, this is gorgeous. It's like a picture frame, a wavy picture frame. It's heavy. It's not magnetic, so let's see. Very coppery. Okay, so that's not sterling. Uh, $3 for this one. And what do we have here? Kitty Queen, the chocolate bar, collectible charm, live in concert. All right, I don't know anything about this. <laughs> uh, One dollar. It's new. <laughs> it's new in package. All right, we have a heart, and here we've got sort of the slime green, and then in the middle, it's almost kind of an olive green. Uh, heart pendant. Let's scratch this one. Nope, coppery. So one dollar for that. This is pretty. Wow, this is really pretty. There are some scratches though on the faux pearls, which is really, really a shame. So I'm going to go $1 just because, you know, it's got some, it's got some issues. Otherwise, stunning, stunning piece, $1. Because of that, we have a gold leaf, $1 for the gold leaf. We have a dolphin. Very pretty dolphin. It doesn't, it's not crystal or glass. It is plastic. So $1 for the dolphin. We have another leaf. I don't know though. See, it's, hmm. I don't know if this is wear or if this is intentional because the edges of the leaves kind of have a silvery appearance. Not sure. So $1 because I'm not sure. All right. Here we have a heart. The little charm says love. I guess it could be a charm or a pendant. One dollar for that. No mark. This, again, the rhinestones don't look the best. I'm putting this one in craft. That one really has seen better days. Okay, we have another heart. It is magnetic and this one visually looks more sterling to me than the others not that you can really tell visually but I'm gonna test it anyway hmm that's interesting it's not going away it's going away a little bit I don't know, but it is magnetic, so I'm going to have to go with that. Anything on the inside? No. Nope. $2 for the heart. We have a bus or a van. If you know anybody living van life, they might... Oh, that's cleaning up nicely. They might like that. Let's see. Mm, 
No. Okay, one dollar for that. I don't know how the weather is by you guys, but it is getting much colder here by us, and I'm not happy about it. Oh my gosh, I've lived my whole life in Chicago, and you think I would be used to the weather, and every year... Oh, I like it less and less. <laughs> oh, gosh. All right. Really pretty hearts. I, I don't quite know what to make of these. I don't understand this piece. There's some excess glue coming out here, but not on the other one. I don't know, one dollar, just because that one's a little bit of a mystery to me. Similar to that lime green one, but I like the colors on this one much, much better. It's this turquoise blue and then kind of a brown. A little bit of wear up here, so one dollar. We have a heart, a sparkly heart. Locket. Okay, we have a locket. Good clasp. Definitely magnetic. Two dollars. Okay, this one is really nice. Needs a little bit of a cleaning, but otherwise in great condition. Really pretty. $3 for that one. Faith. Very pretty. Let me see. I don't think, again, this is anything, but I'm checking kind of has a tarnished look that doesn't look man-made. <laughs> Looks like nature made it. Okay, no, that's not sterling. Uh, it's kind of bronzy. So $2 for that one. It's very pretty. Okay, we have... This one's more like a charm. It almost looks like a ship steering wheel. A dollar. The tiger's eye pendant. A little bit of a chip down here. So a dollar for that one. Silver tone pendant. There is wear here, so one dollar. Okay, oh, this one has layers. Very pretty. So a heart and a heart. A little bit, tiny bit of wear on the edges, but again, on the back side. No maker's mark. Really pretty, three dollars. Ah, we have a ring that slipped in to the charms. Let's see. A seven. It's kind of a nickel finish and then a, a shiny finish. Or I should say a matte finish and a shiny finish. There is some little scratches. Ah, there is a mark. Pilgrim. Hmm, interesting. I have not heard of that before. Not magnetic. But kind of coppery. So $1 for this, just because it does have some scratches. We have a this looks almost like a natural stone it doesn't look 
I don't know. It doesn't look plastic to me, but I could be wrong. Any markings? Hmm. There might have been a mark here, and now it's worn. It has some resemblance to Premier Designs, but I can't swear because it's so worn. $2. $2 for that one. We have a faux turquoise pendant. That one does look like it might be Premier Designs. Yeah. Let's see. There's some little bit of it doesn't even look like scratching on the surface. It's more like just these little white spots in the material. So again, I I don't know if that was done when it was manufactured or later. So because of that $1. I love Aruba. $1 for <laughs> I love Aruba. That was fun. We have a V that reminds me of that M. I don't know. Let's see. Very much reminds me of that M. That was sterling. Let's see. I think it's sterling. Again, it kind of doesn't look like it. This one even has like a, if I compare them, no, they have a different finish. This one I can believe is sterling. This one, it looks like it is, but it's got a definitely a different finish. So, no markings. I'm gonna I'm gonna go with the acid test and say it's sterling. Uh, Six dollars. If any of you have other ideas about that one, you know, just leave me a comment. Because uh, it's not like I'm sure of everything myself either. Okay. Really pretty pendant, but has a lot of kind of like tarnish, tarnish wear, not magnetic. Let's test it out. It's a pretty little handbag pendant. Let's see. Well, it's not doing the sterling silver thing, but it's also not completely going away. Yeah, it is over time. Okay, it's starting to dissolve. All right, so we're just going to assume it's silver tone and it's wearing down quite a bit in front, which is a shame. So $1. Okay, this one's got a really pretty stone in the middle. I don't even know how to begin describing it. It's gorgeous. It is really, really pretty. Any markings? Oh, and you get to see it from back too. That is really pretty. So let's see. Again, not magnetic. Ah, that one dissolved. Coppery. Okay, $4 for this one, just because of the unique stone. Oh, we have another one of these. 
but this one is cracked here there's damage so that's going in that little craft pile okay then we have a jesus on the cross a very large pendant very long pendant um i would estimate maybe f even four inches. I don't have my tape measure out. I'm looking for it right now. I don't see it. I thought I put it around my neck. It's, <laughs> it's not there. Um, but this is very, very nicely done. This is gorgeous. There is a little bit of coppery showing through, but I don't think it takes away from how beautiful this is. So $5 if anybody wants that. Really pretty. All right, what is this? We have a little elephant charm. Oh, how adorable. $1 for the elephant charm. Just make sure he's, no, he's, oh, well, he's actually not magnetic, so let's see. No. Yeah, one dollar for the little elephant charm. Silver tone charm. Does that say anything? It does. Let's see. Roman. Okay, two dollars for the Roman pendant. And we have a pretty natural stone with a painted flower, but it looks like this piece has been re-glued and there is some glue there. So one dollar. We have another Star of David in excellent condition. Two dollars. A little love pendant. Oh, you know what? This may be a sticker. This is like that little elephant. There's something under here because I see the portion of a letter, but I don't know. So one dollar. It's more of a charm. This is similar. Sun. One dollar. Pretty moonstone pendant. One dollar. What do we have here? Not sure if that's rose quartz or not. It's see more see-through on this side. Silver tone, gold tone. Interesting pendant, $2. Okay, a little faux pearl gold tone pendant. There's some scratching on the faux pearls. Faux pearl, one, one dollar. Because it has that damage. Okay, we have an eight ball <laughs> charm for the pool player in your life, one dollar. Very pretty gold tone charm, the letter D. One dollar. Okay, we have, uh, this one's a little, let's see. You know, some superficial little scratching or debris. It might need more cleaning.
but I love the subtle, you know, colors in there, variation in there. No markings. Let's, let's scratch it. Let's see. Little bit coppery, not completely so. No, not sterling. Okay, so that will be three dollars for that one. We have a silver tone, but it's showing some wear. Yeah. Oh, there you go. <laughs> it fell apart. So it's going in our little craft pile. What do we have here? Please return to Tiffany, New York. I don't know. I wonder if that's real or not. It's a lot of counterfeit Tiffany out there and the printing just doesn't look as clean and crisp as Tiffany does and it's scratching up coppery and it's definitely not sterling and it's labeled 925 it's definitely not sterling and I, I would I would bet it's absolutely not Tiffany. But if anybody wants a counterfeit Tiffany charm, um, two dollars <laughs> for the counterfeit Tiffany. All right, we have a peace charm, which is really kind of nice. Not magnetic. Hmm. Got a lot of solution. I'm just gonna. Make it go down there. And it's not it's not sterling, so that's one dollar. Oh, we have another ring. That's a pretty ring. Okay, I don't see any any marks inside. It is a eight and three quarters. Let's see if it's, it's not magnetic. Yeah, very coppery. Okay, but it's, it's pretty. You could pass this off as being more than it is. Let's see, just one little wipe and it really sparkles well. So, four dollars. Four dollars for the ring. I think it's still really pretty. Okay, looking at my little pile, we're getting smaller pieces now. We have uh, a half moon. Okay, that's not magnetic so let's see now it's very coppery all right so we have a half moon and a little pearl one dollar this will be this is in good shape two dollars Test it out. It's, it's a little coppery. Yeah, it dissolved. So two dollars for this one. The stone's just not as pretty as some of the other stones that we've seen. 
but I do like the the pink. All right, this is a nice leaf, no extra glue. I think I've been saying one dollar for these. Okay, we have an eyeball. <laughs> That would be fun for Halloween, wouldn't it? Walk around with a little eyeball. Let's see. This kind of had a look to it. And yeah, yeah, that's sterling. So the eyeball has, this is sterling. Let's see how this scratches up. I want to say that's probably sterling too. Yeah. How unexpected. How unexpected that the eyeball is in sterling. So if anybody wants the eyeball, um, $4. $4. It's just, other than Halloween, I, I, I can't imagine wearing it, but, you know, it, it could have a, a purpose. A lot of wear on this one, missing stone, I'm putting that in that little craft pile. We have a locket, a pretty locket. Two dollars for the locket. We have Pray for Us, St. Jude. Guys, I'm going to keep this one. I do pray to St. Jude. Um, I am, I'm not Catholic. I'm Christian, but I'm not Catholic. But I pray to St. Jude. Um, and I believe in St. Jude. St. Jude has come to me, come through for me when I've prayed before, when I've gone through really tough times in my life. So because of that, I believe in St. Jude and I, I do, I pray to St. Jude. Uh, so yeah, I'm keeping that piece. All right, this is a little Aztec piece. Looks Aztec-y to me. It's signed, but it's hard to make out what it's signed. LC maybe. Let's see if this is anything. Nope. Nothing there other than a very unique, beautiful piece. So if anybody wants this piece, $3. Then we have, we have this pretty bronze stone pendant, very pretty stone. I don't even know if it's a stone. I think it's plastic, acrylic, but Somebody really took the time and effort to make that unique and unusual. So $2 for that. We have a charm. Oh, Mary Kay. Mary Kay charm. 206, 2007. $1 for that. We have a pretty cross. And let's see. It may have had a premier design mark that's wearing down. It is magnetic. So $2. Some of the rhinestones just aren't glittery anymore. So two dollars. Oh, this is pretty. We have two hearts. 
with a black enamel background. A sister is someone to dream, cry, sing, laugh, laugh with. I like this. Very pretty. $3 for that one. That's in good shape. Okay, we have a silver tone pendant. It's a little dirty. Okay, that came off. No markings. It's magnetic. One dollar. We have an elephant pendant. Let's see if he's just dirty too. Yes, he was just dirty. Well, you know elephants, right? They get dirty. How cute is he? All right, let's see if he's anything. He's magnetic. $2 for the little elephant charm. Okay, we have a butterfly. With kind of a tarnished look. So let's see. Not magnetic, but coppery. He is a little tarnished, so $2 for him. I think he still looks okay. He kind of passes for sterling <laughs> looking the way he does. All right, this is very worn. I don't know if it can be cleaned up. It's engraved with the litter. See, you almost can't tell. What not magnetic? Let's see if it might be sterling. Because if it is sterling, you can take it to a jeweler and have them polish it up. I don't think this will be sterling, though. No. Okay. I'm putting this in the little craft pile just because... It's seen better days. All right, this is pretty. No maker's mark. One dollar. Okay, we have... I don't know if that's Joseph and Jesus or not. What does it say? The Franciscans, St. Anthony's Guild. I'm going to put that in craft. It feels like aluminum. Very, very lightweight. Okay. Not sure. Almost looks like a fireman charm. There's some weight to this. Very coppery, so... I don't know who that character is, so one dollar. You know, when I started doing this channel with jewelry, I never thought I'd have to learn my cartoon characters when I run into them <clears throat> so often that now I'm thinking, I've got to learn my cartoon characters. All right, this is beautiful. One side and the other side. How pretty. Now, I don't know if there was a stone here and now it's missing. That I don't know. $3 for this piece. I think it's still gorgeous. We have another ring. It is a size... Uh, let's see. Seven and three quarters. So one dollar for this ring. We have a little bit of an artsy piece here. 
really pretty. Not magnetic. There's a really pretty blue cabochon in the middle. Let's see if this scratches up as anything. No, coppery. Um, four dollars for this one. That one's really unique. We have a little pearl in a heart cage pendant. The pearl actually looks like it might be real. It's not, that's coppery. It's not perfect, you know. It has that natural, imperfect look to it. So $2 for that. I don't know what that shape is, but it's pretty. It's almost like a, almost like a heart. I don't know. Um, but some of the rhinestones, I think, need a good cleaning. So, but they're all there. $2 for that piece. We have a swan. That's another one of these, so I don't know. A dollar. We have, oh, we have an earring. Roman. Let's see if the other earring turns up. We have the letter F, I think, yeah. And a heart. There is some wear to it here and back. One dollar. We have an M. One dollar. And we have a B. With a pretty rose. One dollar. And we have a cat. <laughs> I don't know what these were from. One dollar for the cat. And what's this? We have a crown with, I don't know, one of these lions. Um, bronze, no, coppery, coppery tone, I would say. One dollar. What do we have here? Oh, how pretty. A seashell. That is nicely made. Let's see if that's magnetic. Not magnetic. It's a little coppery, so let's see. Probably nothing. Nope, nothing. All right, so $2 for the little seashell. That's really pretty. As is the horse, the horse charm. $2 for the horse. Uh, we have another one of these uh, lions that remind me of King Arthur's court and knights of the round table. <laughs> uh, $1. <laughs> I'm a sucker for all that. I love those shows that go back to that period in time. I can't help myself. See, is this anything? It's not even scratching up very much, so I'm thinking it's nothing. Yeah, it's nothing, but it's cute. It's kind of 
kind of a teardrop, sort of. One dollar. And we have, this one needs a good scrubbing. Needs a good cleaning. One dollar. Oh, this one's glittery. Very pretty. It needs a good cleaning too, but I have no doubt this one would be dazzling. I mean, just a little wipe and you can already see how pretty that is. So $3 for that one. All right, let's see what we have. What a little, what a little bits here. Not that little, but you know, compared to some of the other pieces. Okay, not sure who that is. Wildworks 2019. I don't know. $1. We have uh, Mary. Okay, one dollar. Just a rhinestone pendant, one dollar. Large rhinestone. Quite a bit of wear to this piece. I'm gonna put that in that little craft pile. We have a uh, Oh, nice. We have a heart with a peace sign. I like that. Let's just see. I don't think this one is anything. Coppery, so $2. We have a stretchy copper tone ring. Does it have all this, all the rhinestones? Yes. And it is a size, without really stretching it, it's a size nine, I would say. So $1 for the ring. What's this? I'm not sure what that is. I'm gonna put that in craft. We have a, another heart pendant. A little bit of wear, um, but I still think it looks okay. One dollar. Love, joy, peace, patience, kindness, generosity, faithfulness, gentleness, I think, self-control, has a little pretty um, cross and pearl, so it's like a charm. Let's see. No, coppery. So one dollar if anybody would like that charm. We have the letter O. One dollar. We have, what is this? I don't know. It's like a rope around something. To me, it looks like some kind of food, almost like um, <clears throat> not quite a pumpkin, but <laughs> I don't know. One dollar, I'm not sure what that is. Okay, a little heart but it is a little scratched up. I'm gonna put that in that little craft pile. Okay, oh, this looks pretty. 
Oh, wow, that is pretty. And all the stones are there. And it's kind of an articulated piece. I'm loving this. It's, I think, my favorite piece in the whole bag so far. Um, $5 for that one. That one's really kind of unique. I like that. All right, we have a luck charm. Does that say anything? Oh, it just says charm. <laughs> oh my gosh. Is this anything? I'm going to say no. Let's see if I'm right. I think no, that's nothing. All right. So if anybody wants the good luck, luck charm, there's a little four leaf clover. Uh, $1. L. So I don't know. Little one dollar charm. Another ship's wheel. Pendant. One dollar. Oh, another. Please return to Tiffany. I bet this one's a fake too. Yeah. This one's a fake, but if you want a fake, please return to Tiffany. Two dollars. Okay, what's this? Twenty. Okay. Well, would be nice for somebody's twentieth birthday or something. I don't know. Do kids today get into that? I have no idea. Uh, all right, let's see if this is anything. It's not scratching up coppery. I don't know if it's sterling or sterling plated. So $4 if anybody wants that. I'm putting it in the sterling pile just I just am not certain it is. Um, we've got half of a sunflower. How interesting. Half of a sunflower charm. One dollar. Don't know about that one. We have a charm with the letter S with a lot of rhinestones. One dollar. We have another charm with the letter N. It's got some scratches, but one dollar. We have a real pretty rhinestone. Pink rhinestone's red and then clear. There's one missing right here. Uh, the middle piece you see has that little dangly part. It does have some wear in back. So $1, I think it's still pretty. We have a gold tone cross. $2 for that one. We have a charm that says rare, and then it says something, Wildworks 2018. I don't know. I don't know what Wildworks is. So $1 for the rare <laughs> piece. We have a very pretty, um, gold tone rhinestone piece Let's see hmm not really coppery okay let's 
it's just just for fun. So 18 karat ate it all up. Let's just try for fun the 10 karat. I don't know, but it's just scratching up really nice and soft. So I've got to try this. Seems to be getting all dissolved, so I don't think it's gold. It's not marked, but it definitely has the look of fine jewelry. So $3 for this one, if anyone wants it. It's very pretty. That one's very pretty. We have another... Oh, it's going to say another earring, but no, this is a pendant. And this faux pearl looks okay. It's got a couple of real tiny little... Let me see real tiny so not easy to see i think that's not such a big issue so two dollars for this one. Oh, look how cute we have a little enamel frog but he's missing some stones oh that's a shame and he's got a lot of wear. He was loved to death. Look at him. Somebody loved him to death. I'm just going to put him in that craft pile. Oh, we got another one of these. So a dollar. And we have the letter E. Is this anything? I don't think so, but let's just see how it scratches. Coppery. It is, you know, it has a lot of scratches, but a dollar if anybody wants it. A USA charm for a dollar. What is this? Oh. It's the Virgin Mary, and it does have a lot of wear. So I'm putting that in that little craft pile. Um, let's see. We have a unicorn charm, another one of these, uh, a dollar. We have, what's this? So I guess when you wear it, you would wear it. Ah, oh, mom. <laughs> oh, my goodness. That is unique. And the chain goes through there. I love it. That is so pretty. Mom. Okay. If anybody wants the mom pendant, $3. It's different. I'm going to put this one in craft. The stone just to see better days. And we have another one of those. So that one was 20. This is 12. I bet this came from 2012. <laughs> Maybe. Let's see. The other one was kind of sterling like. Let's see what this one looks like. Is it giving me the same kind of thing? Yeah, it sort of is. I can't remember what I said for the 20, but same for the 12, if anybody would like that. We have another, oh no, this is different. We have a cat charm for a dollar. Uh, what else do we have in this pile? This is pretty. It has that vintage look. It has that fine jewelry look. $3 for that one. Just make sure it's not anything. 
I don't think it is, just by how the back looks. Yeah, no, it's very coppery. So we have that. We have, what else? We have a charm that's a frog. He doesn't look too good. That's going into craft. We have a shell charm, a gold tone shell charm for a dollar. Okay. We have an art glass piece that's uh, flip flop for a dollar. Oh, we have the other half of the sunflower. Uh, so the both both halves will be one dollar. We have a J charm, one dollar. Um, not sure. A W charm. Comics, something comics, DC comics. So I don't know. A dollar. Um. Looking for the unique pieces. And we have a little person. I think I've had these before and they were sterling. So let's check these. But maybe not this one. But still, let's make sure. No, not sterling. But Cute little charm, one dollar. What do we have here? 79. Well, if you know somebody who's turning 79, this would make a cool gift. If you know somebody who's turning 79, I'll send it for free to them. <laughs> How's that? My gift. I'll send it for free to anybody you know that's turning 79. Nice surprise. Shipping free too. Okay. Class of 1970. How about this? If you are the class of 1970, whether it's high school, college, whatever, uh, let me know. I will send this to you for free. Shipping free, too. Oh, that would be fun. Boy. A boy charm. Okay. Hmm. This might be... I don't know. Huh? Looks like it might be sterling. I think it's sterling. It's a boy. Um, this will be $5. I'm going to put that in our little sterling pile. It's not labeled sterling, but it, yeah, I mean, it tested sterling. Okay, a pretty cross. With a lot of wear and back. The front is nice, but the back is worn. So one dollar, like a craft piece. Okay, this is really pretty. It's articulated. All the rhinestones are there. It actually doesn't have a lot of wear. It just needs a good washing. So four dollars for this one. That's gorgeous. Okay. Let's see what we have. We have a charm. <clears throat> well, it's very specific. It says Bethany. Uh, One dollar. Maybe somebody knows a Bethany. What else do we have here? We have another one of these. A dollar. Don't know what that is. We have the letter A. Two dollars for the letter A. That's in pretty good shape. We have a nice gold tone cross in good shape. 
$2 for that cross. The letter W, $1. But it is a little dirty. Let's see, is that dirty or worn or tarnished? I don't know. Oh, that was a little dirty. So $1. Two oh oh one charm one dollar. That's vintage now. To me, it feels like that was yesterday. <laughs> oh my gosh, it does, it does, it does. All right, this is pretty. It's an opal with some little pearls. Don't know if the pearls are real. It is magnetic. It's got that look of fine jewelry, but it, you know, it's not. It's a costume piece. Now, it doesn't have a, a bail or anything, but I think you could put the chain through there. So if anybody wants this piece, that will be $2. Okay, let's see what else we have here. Oh, this is a pretty pendant. A little bit of wear up here, but otherwise from the front, it's beautiful. $3 for that one. We have a little turtle. These made of wood, $1. Oh, I wonder. Look at this. I found the stone. Okay, so we have the stone. Oh, now that one fell off. Okay, it's still going into craft. I thought we could kind of work with it, but now it's getting too much. <laughs> it's going into craft, going back into craft. All right, what do we have here? We have a charm, a little monkey charm. And it says USA 1998, made in the USA. You don't see that too often. He looks pewter. He looks like he's a pewter charm. $2 for him. We have a little, a little daisy charm one dollar we have a little solitaire beautiful cubic zirconia nice setting let's see could that be anything no it's coppery it's just a gorgeous cubic zirconia. So $1. Normally I would test the stone, but I'm thinking if it's, if it's not set and at least sterling, it's not gonna be a diamond. <laughs> it just, it just isn't. Okay, this is a pretty cross. It is showing wear though, quite a bit. I'm gonna put that in that little craft pile. Uh, we have this little heart. I just see one stone. It looks like all the stones are missing. And there's a name on back. M-A-R-E-H. It says 925, so let's at least test it. Maybe it's sterling. Who knows? Mm. Yeah, I don't really think so. They kind of lied to us there. I'm going to put that in craft. And I have another one of these. A dollar. Now I really want to know what that is. <laughs> I just gotta know. 
Okay, what does this say? Vivary, V-I-V-A-R-Y. I don't know what that means. Not magnetic. Very coppery, a dollar. Uh, we have a dollar sign charm, one dollar. We have a friend's charm. Let's see if that might be, no, it's magnetic. A dollar, and it has that pretty little, that little, you know, that little blue stone. Okay, what do we have here? We have a bridesmaid charm. That's kind of fun. I don't think I've ever seen that. And it has a date, it has somebody's names. 11769. Wow. This just doesn't look like it's that old, but it's a 50, 50 plus year old piece. Okay, we have a little handbag charm. It reminds me of a lot of Betsy Johnson stuff, but it's not signed, so a dollar. I'm going to put this in our little craft pile. Very worn cross. It's too bad because the design is beautiful, putting that into craft. We have a a fairy? I don't know. Maybe. Yeah, maybe a fairy. A dollar. A dollar for that charm. We have another cross that's quite worn. I'm going to put that in the craft pile. Ah, we have another one of these. So, a dollar. We have... I'm not sure. A dollar wasn't easy to read. This is a pretty pendant, very unusual. The pearl's in pretty good shape. I don't see any big scratches or anything. I don't even see any little scratches. So $3 for that one. Okay, we have a little charm, a little black glass stone, one dollar. I'm not even sure it's glass. It could be, it could be not glass, it could be just plastic. This is pretty. A pretty little pendant, love, rhinestones. Oh, it says 925, so let's see. doesn't feel like it's 925. It's very coppery. I don't believe it's 925, but it's very pretty. And I see you put the you put the chain through there. So two dollars for the little love rhinestone charm. Okay, we have two hearts, but it looks like we may be missing a stone. Yeah. Okay, what else do we have? We have a cross. I'm gonna put that in the craft pile. A little charm. That eh, could be a pendant, yeah. Maybe something can go through there. So a dollar. 
a little tiny pendant, a dollar. What is this? This has been sitting here for a while. Been ignoring it. A charm that says congratulations. Oh, this is for Weight Watchers. I'm going to put that in craft. Okay, we have a pendant with a C. So, $1. This one kind of feels like it might be sterling. Let's see. Anything? Could that be sterling? Mm, I don't think so. One dollar for that one. Oh, we have an arrowhead. Not a real arrowhead, but you know. Yeah, it does have some tarnish. It's kind of bronzy. So one dollar for the arrowhead. And we got another one of these. A dollar. I don't know what to make of those. All right. What is this? Oh, okay. All right. So we have a tassel pendant. That's pretty. Three dollars for that one. That's different. Only one like that in this whole little bag of pendants. Okay, we have this one. Let's see, does it have a lot of wear? Not really. So $1 for this one. I'm gonna put this into craft. It's kind of a lumine. What is this? It's a charm. Oh, it's a musical charm. Treble and bass. So, one dollar for that. This is showing a lot of wear. I'm going to put that in our little craft pile. We have a lot of little crosses here. Let's see. No, coppery. This one's pretty though. A dollar. We have another one with pink rhinestones. Really cute. Yep. Two dollars on the pink oh on the pink rhinestone cross. We have a dolphin, adorable dolphin pendant, $2 for the dolphin. We have a, another kind of Brighton lookalike, a dollar. I'm not sure what nine and three quarters stands for. WBE, a dollar. We have another seashell for a dollar. What do we have here? Oh, we have a little handbag. Missing a rhinestone. Putting that in craft. We have another monkey. I can't remember if I said one or two dollars for the other one. Um, but let's go a dollar for each of the monkeys. 
Okay, this is cute, a dollar. H, the letter H. That's a little bit scratched up, one dollar. Oh, we have another musical instrument one. Hmm. It was only a couple seconds ago. I don't know if I said one or two dollars. Whatever I said, it's the same. Oh, my memory is failing me today. It's late in the day. I do better when I do this earlier in the day. I can remember what I said. Okay, this is very pretty. It looks like fine jewelry. It's not. Oh, and I think it's missing a couple of stones. I'm going to put that in craft. And what is this? I think it's missing a stone that'll go in craft. Oh, excuse my stomach. It just did a big growl. A little charm for a dollar. Okay, guys, I took a quick break and I am back to finish up this little bag of pendants. There's not much left. Okay, this one is really pretty, kind of unique. It is signed Roman. I've had a few of those in this lot, so I am not really familiar with that designer. I have seen it before, I just have not looked it up. Okay, this is coppery. So $2 for this piece. We have a little heart pendant. Heart's not magnetic, so let's see. Yeah, no, it's coppery. So one dollar for the heart. We have an anchor that's in good shape. All right, let's see if that's anything. Nope. So one dollar for the anchor. Now guys, as I've said, if you want to purchase something, email me at opportunitythrift at gmail.com and give me the date of a video, the timestamp and a brief description. US shipping for under a pound is five dollars. That's in addition to the cost of the item. And if it's more than a pound, then, you know, we'll calculate how much that is. All right, this is coppery. So a dollar for this heart charm. We have this charm for a dollar. What is this? Uh, looks like a mask, doesn't it? <laughs> I don't know. I could be wrong. It could be anything. But nowadays, I think that's a mask. So, a dollar. Um, let's see. What is this? Oh, this is another seashell. So a dollar for the seashell. It's a pretty charm, a dollar. An angel charm or pendant. This is a pendant, so a dollar. is another one of those that has a pretty setting. Let's see, it has some kind of stamp. 
let's test it. Reminds me of that other one, I think, that was stamped, but in the end it was nothing. So that's coppery. This is coppery. That is not sterling, but it's cute. A dollar. A butterfly charm. A dollar. We have the letter N. For a dollar. This is pretty. I'm not quite sure. I wonder if that's another mustard seed like I had in that other video. I don't know, guys. Tell me. Could that be? I'm not sure. But that's what it's reminding me of. Hmm. No, nope, not sterling. So, um, a dollar. A little butterfly charm for a dollar. I sound like a broken record. <laughs> Everything's a dollar. Um, what do we have here? nice little purple stone charm for a dollar. We have a little, a little pendant. There's a little bit of wear to it. I think it's still pretty for a dollar. What is this? Oh, how cute, a basket. A basket of flowers. It says nine two five. Well, let's see. Hmm. Okay. It's not not coppery. Yeah, I believe them. That is sterling. Very pretty. So if anybody wanted this sterling basket, that will be $7. Put that in our little sterling pile. We have an apple charm, I think. It's an apple, a dollar. Uh, we have a spider web charm for a dollar. We have a, another heart, a little heart charm. Oh, I think that's the front. So a dollar for that piece. And guys, I do combine shipping across uh, auctions. I always say auction and it's not an auction across videos and so if you see something and you want to buy multiples and it all together is under a pound it's only five dollars so a little guest charm for a dollar what else do we have here these are littles but they're cute some of them are so pretty so we have this one. It's in good shape. A dollar. What is this? Oh my goodness, look at this. Oh, I'm loving this. <laughs> a little beach chair and a um, umbrella. It gives you vacation vibes. One dollar. That was cute. I'm kind of looking at this pile thing. Oh, there's nothing left here, but see, you find stuff. A dollar. We've had one like that before. And here we have the letter J. There is some tarnish inside the bale. And yeah, it's magnetic, so a dollar. 
and the letter K for a dollar. And I don't know, I was gonna say the letter C, but no, it's like a D. It's the letter D for a dollar. A little bit of wear on this one though. Not in the best of shape. What is this? A pea pod? Oh, how unusual. It's, I've never seen a pea pod before. And there is a little bit of wear to him, a little bit. But you know what? I don't think it matters. That is so cute. A pea pod for a dollar, a dollar for the pea pod. A pretty cross for a dollar. A little breast cancer awareness ribbon. I will send this to free to anybody who is a breast cancer survivor or battling breast cancer right now. So I'll send that for free, even shipping, free shipping. Brian. Okay, pretty charm. Brian. $1. For that. That one's in good shape compared to some of the others. We have a little elephant, a little copper elephant. A little bit of tarnish here. I'm not sure if this is real copper. Oh, and it's kind of messy in back. I'm going to put that in craft. Um, just a large rhinestone charm. A dollar. Not sure what that is, but I think it would fly for Halloween. <laughs> I mean, an octopus? I don't know. It's another one of these uh, wild works. I don't know what that is. Okay, we have two charms. One's, oh no, I thought they were both the same. They look like they could go together, but I don't know. I even, I hate charging a, a full dollar for that. I'm going to put that in the little craft pile. And is there anything else here? We have a little tiny locket. It could be a locket charm, even. Now there is somewhere to this. This looks vintage to me. And I like it. I like it. I, I think this would look nice on a charm bracelet. Um, but it's not perfect. So one dollar. We have a pretty cross with enameling. One dollar. We have another one of these, and this says Greg, but it has a date on it. So I'm gonna put that in craft. Okay, we have, oh, I like that. It was then that I carried you. I love this, $2. And we have, I don't know what that is. I'm putting that in craft. A dollar, if anybody wants that. A painter's palette charm for a dollar. A little amethyst heart for a dollar. A, what is this? I'm not sure. There's some wear here. I'm putting that in our little craft pile. Some religious pieces I'm going to put in the craft pile. They're just aluminum. Okay. Is this anything? I'm 
I'm gonna go with the 10 carats. Trying to remember my college chemistry. I think AU was gold. And this is 10 carat. It's not dissolving. Let me look that up. Yeah, memory serves me right. AU is the chemical symbol for gold. And believe it or not, I was a chemistry major way back when. And so I don't remember much. <laughs> oh my gosh. Spent four years pouring over chemistry books, and now I'm looking up the symbol for gold because I'm not quite sure anymore. Unbelievable. But that was a really long time ago. Okay. So let's do this the scientific way from the old chemistry major. That's 10 carat. This is 14 carat. Ooh, it dissolved completely on the spot, but 10 carat did not. And of course, 18 carat. Oh, wait, did I do that right? This is 10. This is 14. Let's try 14 again. Yeah, 14 dissolved. Let's do 10 one more time. That's for 10. 10 carat. It does not dissolve. Okay. So that's 10 carat gold. Okay, so if you guys ever see the symbol AU on something, that means gold. I had to remind myself. Um, 10 karat gold is, I don't know, I didn't look it up today, obviously, but it's around $20 a gram. So I would sell this for, well, let's go weigh it. Hey guys, I'm at my kitchen scale. This is pounds and ounces. So excuse my baked potatoes, <laughs> potato recipe potatoes. All right, so this is less than a gram. I don't know how much less. Um, okay. So I don't know how much less than, oh, but now it's dissolving a little bit. Not completely though. So maybe it's nine carat, I don't know. Um, but I would sell this then for $25. I'm assuming that is what I think it is, what I think it tested as, so. We have a little angel charm for a dollar. And then, let's see, we have a cross for a dollar. A little heart charm for a dollar. Another little pink heart rhinestone charm for a dollar. A little smoky, kind of a smoky colored charm for a dollar. And then these other, well, if anybody wants the starfish a dollar, and a rhinestone, a large rhinestone for a dollar. Very clear, in good shape. And then we have just some little bits and pieces that will go into that little craft pile. And we never found this earring. 
So all in all, this pendant haul was a great haul. Um, we had a lot of great pendants. Uh, we had some sterling silver and I believe some gold and we have a small little craft pile I'm just going to keep and continue building to building on to So if you guys liked this video and you want to see more like it um, Please subscribe to the channel and give me a thumbs up and I will see you soon. Thank you